we have treatments in mice that work extremely well. And there's no reason why that wouldn't work in people if we worked hard enough on it. By identifying an area of the hippocampus or the brain that's really linked to aging, and now with this study finding a specific, specific molecular pathway, we could begin thinking of interventions that can really ameliorate normal age-related memory loss. I was uh, very surprised to see that when I increased the levels of this protein, specifically the dente gyrus of aged wild-type mice, to see the memory performance of these mice to get better and actually to be comparable with the young mice and didn't expect that. That was a surprising finding. The point here is that we now have a molecular uh, measure or lure with which we can now assess all these interventions, whether it's what we eat, how we behave, or even a pharmaceutical agent. I think this paper provides further and most compelling evidence so far that age-related memory loss is distinct from Alzheimer's disease, that we've identified at least one molecular pathway that is critically involved based not only on the current study, which is the most convincing, but earlier studies. This really sets the stage for de developing better diagnostics and better interventions uh, to try to ameliorate age-related memory decline versus Alzheimer's disease.